Hello and welcome. Today is April 29th, 2020, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay, so I hope everyone is doing well for today. Um, you know, I'd like to make a few announcements. And so uh, first is uh, yesterday uh, I went live uh, with the 5K gratitude giveaway reading. And that was actually a really beautiful, wonderful experience. And for everyone who uh, came in on the live reading, you know, um, you know, thank you. You know, and for those of you who did not make it uh, to the live, you know, uh, you guys have another chance. Okay. So I am thinking uh, maybe sometime tomorrow I will go live again and, you know, you know, just come in for maybe 30 minutes or so uh, to answer a few more questions. Okay. For, for those who would like to uh, get uh, a free, you know, uh, mini reading from me. Um, and for those who have uh, sent a donation through uh, the super chat, then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and if I didn't answer your question during the live, then I'll take some time uh, uh, to answer your questions either in the live for tomorrow or post it at the end of uh, maybe Friday's reading, okay? One of the two. I might wait until tomorrow um, just in case other people come in and, you know, they send a super chat and I wasn't able to get to you. Um, if you send a super chat, I'll review that video again and I'll take your name down and I will actually pull cards for you, okay? Um, I just think that it's fair, you know? Um, you know, it would. I don't really go live often, and so it's very hard for me to keep track of all the um, the information in the feed. And so it's like wherever my eye is being drawn to is, is who I'm calling. There was no uh, rhyme or reason. There was no line. Okay. <laughs> It's just like whenever I'm done with the channeling and I look up and I see, you know, whatever activity is going on on the side panel, then I would choose from, from one of those, okay? Um, unless you send a super chat and it's stuck at the very top, then I would, you know, uh, you know, direct my attention towards you. So um, I wanted to, you know, thank you all, you know, for you know, really, um, you know, being open with me, with your journey, um, even if, you know, you, you weren't there in the live reading, you know, uh, for those of you who booked private readings with me, you know, throughout uh, the past and up until now, you know, uh, you know, thank you for letting me be a part of your experience, you know, and for me to help you, you know, along the way. It means a lot to me more than you really know, you know, because it actually helps me with my personal, you know, uh, situation dealing with my own, uh, you know, journey, you know, with my twin. And um, I'm really thankful and I'm really appreciative uh, for everyone, okay? And so, um, so that's that. So, let's see what else. I think that's it. Let's get on with the channeling. <laughs> Dear Spirit, what is uh, the energy of the masculines and feminines? And what is their energy towards each other? What is uh, the energy of the divine masculine and divine feminines? And what is the energy towards each other? Thank you, 
Well, for the masculines, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, so I really feel for the uh, divine masculines. They are wanting to reconcile with you feminines, okay? That's what I'm seeing because uh, they're learning to let go of control issues. They're allowing uh, the situation to unfold naturally. So before, in the past, I feel that the masculines were really trying to control the situation, the outcomes, how, you know, uh, you guys would come together, you know, whatever the case is. I feel like this masculine is learning to let go, okay? They definitely want to come back and, and reconcile with you feminines. That's what I'm seeing. And for the feminines, we have a free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So I feel that feminines, you are learning to free yourself, you know, freeing yourself from attachments to outcomes, you know, not really wanting to control the situation either. Because I feel that, you know, this twin flame journey is really taking a toll on you. It's really difficult. You know, you feel stuck, but you can really free yourself. And that's the feeling that I'm getting. And towards a masculine, we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So what I'm feeling, feminines, is that you feel a sense of unrequited love when it comes to your masculine. Possibly because, um, you know, the masculine has time and time, you know, chose like a karmic situation or they they always uh, seem to, you know, <laughs> fall off the track somewhere, you know, whatever the case is. And it really hurts you, feminines. That's the feel I'm getting. That's why you're learning to free yourself at this time. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So let me go ahead and pull. What is the underlying energy for the masculines and feminines? What is uh, the underlying energy, please, spirit? What is the underlying energy for the masculines and feminines for today? Polarity. So I see that masculines are integrating their shadow side and they understand that there can be no light without dark. They're understanding the law of polarity. I really feel like, you know, that's why this masculine is learning to let go of the control issues. They're trying to uh, let it unfold naturally. I feel like this masculine is really resistant towards the feminine. But now this masculine is feeling the call to reconcile. That is the feeling that I'm getting. Why? Because this masculine is learning to become more gentle. Okay? They want to be kind to themselves and to other people and honor uh, their gentleness and speak words of love. I feel that, you know, maybe this masculine, you know, they were really controlling. You know, they weren't really gentle with you feminines. Okay? They are really rigid. That's the feeling I'm getting. And they're learning uh, to speak you know, with um, kindness, okay? That's the feel I'm getting. I feel like this masculine, um, they they were really rough with you. They didn't they didn't uh, learn how to be gentle with their words, especially their words. You know, even showing it to you, but I feel like it, it's really their speech. And with the feminines, we have innocence. Take time to play, nurture your inner child, live like a childlike sense of wonder. I feel like feminines, you want to free yourself. Honestly, I feel like you want a vacation. You know, you want to free yourself. You want to, you know, feel your innocence, you know, uh, feel your inner child. Perhaps you want to go out and run, <laughs> maybe play. You know, if you have like a dog, um, you know, you want to be playful. That's the feeling I'm getting. Go out in nature, you know, and recapture your inner innocence when it comes to you. And towards the masculine, we have magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. When it comes to this unrequited love uh, situationship that you have with your masculine, you're being called to make a wish. And to believe in the miracles because I feel that this masculine is coming back around. They're letting go of being controlling and they're learning to be more gentle. I feel that feminines, when you free yourself 
Okay, when you detach your energy from your masculine, the masculine energetically feels this, okay? And it's a sense of freeing, you know, not really being, uh, you know, uh, attached to what the masculine is doing, you know, um, but, you know, just really paying mind to yourself. Focus more on yourself. And the masculine, you know, they're sitting over here, they're thinking about reconciling with you because they realize that you're their other half. That's what I'm feeling, okay? So let's go ahead and see. What is the energy of this masculine towards you, feminine? How are they thinking? How are they feeling? What is it that they want to do? What do they want to do about the situation? What is their challenge? And what is their outcome? Wow, masculines are thinking about you, feminine. Wow. <laughs> You are in their energy. This masculine really is thinking that they want to be gentle with you. They want to reconcile with you, feminines. I feel like, you know, because you detached your energy, you freed yourself. You're looking beautiful and gorgeous. You're probably smelling good, looking good, you know. Um, and this masculine really wants to be immersed in your energy. I see that they're coming, guys. Wow. This masculine, if they were really um, not really open towards coming towards you in a public sense, I feel like this masculine's really opening up themselves. They're feeling really good. I feel like this masculine really wants to make a, a public appearance, okay, when it comes to you. You know, this masculine, if they were really hiding a behind a facade or a curtain, I feel like, you know, they don't care. You know, they really want to, you know, make their presence known, whether or not the public public noses or not that's actually kind of beautiful guys you know because they don't want to stress out anymore this mask is ready to get out of their head i feel like they, they just want to do it they don't want to control the situation anymore they can't help but to reach out and connect you know that's the feel I'm getting. and wow look at this mask is coming okay wow they might come in uh, really quickly, okay? So just be careful of your masculine's energy, you know, because they're still juggling. So I really feel like, you know, this masculine has, like, uh, the desire to come towards you, but there could be some unfinished business or unresolved issues on the masculine's end, okay? Um, it's because, you know, they're in a family situation. So these, for, uh, these are for those uh, whose masculines are in a commitment or in a family uh, home situation, okay? That's the film getting, you know, and they're really, you know, trying to figure out who do they want to really commit to? Is it you or is it whatever situation that they're, they're already in a commitment in? That's the film getting. I feel like it's a toss up. But I feel like it's more for you, feminines, because this masculine's coming, you know, and I see that, you know, they, they want to take back their energy, especially if they're giving uh, into a family situation, you know, um, you know, and that could be the absence of your masculine. This particular masculine, they were stingy. They, they didn't uh, really give you the time, focus, and attention before. Now this masculine is learning to become more gentle. They realize that you balance your masculine. I feel like this masculine is thinking when you guys were in a uh, actual physical union you know you really balanced out your masculine's energy and it felt great right it's like you guys were playing off of each other's energies but now that you guys are not together in a physical sense i feel like this masculine is coming to realize that you are actually uh, the one that was balancing your masculine out and because of that, this masculine is learning to just release their control, not be so rigid, not be so controlling of the situation, learning to become more gentle, okay? Yeah, because this masculine wants to get out of their head, 
and they know that they they missed an opportunity with you okay they want to let go of the past and they want to travel towards you i honestly feel like you know especially if you guys are at a distance you know even like with a body of water this masculine really wants to come forward towards you they seriously want to travel towards you this could be crossing a bridge riding a boat a ferry uh you know maybe an airplane whatever the case is maybe you're divided by by continents okay i definitely feel like this masculine has you on the brain today and they want to give you an offer in the physical wow you know this masculine uh you know they haven't been active in this you know possibly due to you know uh situations you know that that is really preventing them from travel okay and i really see that that's why they're not coming forward to really uh communicate this to you they're really working on themselves. I feel that, you know, the masculines know what they want. They want to reconcile with you feminines, okay? They know that you really balance them out. They, they're learning to become more gentle. They want to let go of control issues. And because of their past situations, I feel like if your masculine is stuck in a karmic situation, they're trying to free themselves because this masculine wants to choose you. That's the feel I'm getting. Yeah, what did I say? They want to choose you. They want a relationship. They want to invest into you. Their feelings are with you. Okay, feminines? That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, because there's some sort of attachment that they have. They they know that they can't break this chain with you. Okay? That's the feeling I'm getting. They, no matter what, and you are their wish fulfillment. This masculine is coming for you, feminines. Okay? Now, this reconciliation might happen today, but if not, it's okay. I feel like this isn't the energy of the masculines. They're actually thinking about this, and I feel like this masculine is wanting to work it out, okay? Even even if they're not doing it today, they're thinking about it, okay? Feminines, in the meantime, just for yourself, and know that your masculine will come in divine timing. You know, all you have to do is make a wish. What do you wish for? Because if it's your masculine, your masculine's coming, okay? <laughs> Here we have uh, the Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like the masculine is thinking that you have uh, retracted your feelings. You're holding back. Not really expressing uh, them as much as you have in the past. The masculine is feeling that you're freeing yourselves, okay? I feel like you're taking back uh, your own energy and, and putting it more towards yourself. And I feel that this masculine is taking notice, okay? So how are they feeling? We have here five of wands in reverse. This masculine does not want to fight the situation. They don't want to compete anymore. They feel like, okay, it's time. They don't want to control the situation. They're realizing that, you know, what, what, how are they living before in the past? You know, how are they handling the situation? I feel like this masculine is actually doing some thinking, you know, when it comes to you. They don't, they don't want to fight this anymore. Okay. They want to come back. So well, what is it that they want? Wow, we have here the Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel that, you know, this masculine wants to cut off a situation here. And I feel like it's a karmic. You know, this masculine, I feel like they're between two female energies. One is more uh, watery and more emotional. The other one is, is more um, maybe logical. Um, someone who is very communicative, okay, and is really cutting with their words. And I feel that this masculine is thinking about the one who has a water in their chart. Okay. And I really feel like they want to cut out uh, a, a, an energy of someone who has air in their chart. But um, if you have air in your chart, okay, that doesn't mean that it's you, okay? What I'm feeling is that it's, it's an energy of someone who, who cut the masculine off, okay? So if you cut the masculine off, the masculine, I feel, wants, to, wants you to open up and free yourself, so that the masculine can approach you. You have to be approachable to your masculine and not be so cut off. That's the feeling I'm getting because this masculine doesn't want to fight or compete anymore. So what are the actions is this masculine going to take? Wow, we have her eight of wands in reverse. So they're holding back this communication. Because why? They feel left out in the cold. 
This mask, on, like I said, I don't feel like this mask on is quite ready yet to reconcile today. Now, some of you guys might receive this reconciliation, but I feel like this is the energy. The mask on is really thinking about opening up, wanting to reconcile, trying, you know, I feel like this mask on realizes that you balance them out. They're realizing they need to be more gentle, okay? They were not gentle with you in the past, and they're realizing this because they're thinking that you are very emotional, very giving, very caring, and they feel that you are taking your energy back and now they're faced with uh, someone who's cut them off, okay, uh, who seems a little bit cold right now. And uh, it's because of this masculine's past actions, okay? They're trying to figure out how can they ease into the situation. So what's the outcome? They're going to be watching you. <laughs> they're, they're checking you out. They're studying you. They're like, how can I make this work, right? You know, they feel like um, they, their apologies might not work. They feel like, you know, whatever that they say with emotions, it, it's not enough. That's how they're feeling, you know. This mask on feels like they don't know what to do without you, feminines, okay? They feel lost without you. That's what I'm feeling. They don't know how to express themselves. They're learning. They're like, my feminine has evolved. Like, this is how they're looking at you today, feminines. Like, you are like this empress, okay? No one tops the empress, okay? Except for uh, the high priestess, okay? The high priestess is more ethereal, you know? But this one is on the ground, okay? And you are looking stunning, okay? Very beautiful, very handsome. You got your stuff together. You're looking sexy, smelling good, you know? Um, you look like, you know, you guys can procreate. <laughs> Maybe go into business with each other. And this masculine... That they're like uh, feeling like a little teenage uh, girl or boy, not knowing what to do. That's why you know they're they're gaining en enlightenment. They're getting that wisdom. Okay, I feel like if you guys have been separated, you got your masculine is coming out of this because they now have wisdom. Okay, they now know what to do. What is it? And that they, they weren't giving into the situation. Possibly it was because of their control issues. You know, they wanted to control the situation because it had to do with controlling their ego and pride. They didn't want to get hurt. But here they are. They're uh, all the pages, okay? This mask definitely wants to send you a message. But they just don't know how. They're thinking of it. They're, they're trying to study you. They're trying to see, like, what can I do, right? And again, I just feel like this masculine is really blocked up in their energy, especially with communication. And I feel like, feminines, it's because you seem like you're un unapproachable. Because I feel that maybe you, you feel cold. You seem really cold with your words. Or they can't handle your words. They don't know what you're going to say. Possibly because what, what they put you through in the past, this masculine feels like they either don't have enough. Maybe, uh, you know, their finances aren't so great right now, you know, for some of them. Or, you know, they just feel like you cut them out or they cut you out. Somebody got ghosted, okay? They don't know how to apologize for their actions, and that and they but they definitely want to get out of separation this masculine can't help it i feel like they they want to reach out they want to get back with you they just don't know how to do it that's what i'm seeing yeah they're not very clear this masculine needs a little bit more time okay feminines but they're thinking about reconciliation okay so what is going on with the feminine's energy what is currently going on with your energy towards your masculine? How are you thinking? How are you feeling? What is it that you want to do in the connection? What are you going to do about the situation? What is your challenge? And what is your outcome? I feel like, uh, you know, masculines are watching you, feminines. They really miss you, okay? 
they're thinking about you even though that they're not looking you up on social media or whatever i feel like you're in their head okay they're really thinking about you a lot these days that's the film getting more than anything i feel like this mask really wants to make it up to you that's that's what i'm saying wow so you know i this card showed up uh just like uh like how it is we have the world it's a completion of a cycle okay this was uh the top card which is you know how you're thinking but i i cut the deck and this this card actually showed up so what i'm seeing here feminines is that you want to work on the connection with your masculine you want to rebuild okay you want to build something solid this time you also feel like you're left down the cold but you're willing to put in the work i just feel like you know if only the masculine have released their control issues you're freeing yourself from the situation if the masculine wants to really truly want to work on it they need to come back and they need to express themselves you know point blank period it's that simple masculines they're sitting here they don't know like what to do they don't know if you're going to accept them you know they're they're thinking overthinking thinking the worst case scenario uh about reconnecting with you from it. and here you are you want to work it out right and this masculine is thinking about you so you're in the masculine's energy and from it, you're like well I, i'm ready to work on it i mean are you you know, and I feel like feminines are being more logical, okay? Yeah, because I see that you want to cut out any situations that isn't really serving you. You know, you want to cut out the bullshit, okay? You know, you don't have time for that anymore. And you see clearly right now. Hence the reason why I feel like you wanted to free yourself, okay? You know, you want to free yourself. You know that it was an unre unrequited love in the past. You know, perhaps, you know, you were loving on your masculine, but the masculine, you know, they told you that they didn't love you or they didn't feel the same, right? But get this, you know, make a wish, feminines, okay? because um your wish might be granted okay because this masculine is thinking about you today and so feminines you know you're just taking time to nurture yourself okay you know because you're, you're taking the easy way out you know instead of choosing the connection with your masculine i feel like you're choosing yourself you know and i see that you know you're well you're ready to offer the masculine uh an offer in the physical but i feel like you know there's some abundance uh that is coming forward towards you because i feel like this beetle is a sign of good luck it's a sign of auspiciousness i think right this uh green beetle right here and you know that's why this pentacle dropped to the ground you know you're in your abundance right now you know th things are actually uh working out for you in the physical plane you know but the only thing that's not working out is your masculine okay and i saw that in the masculine's energy okay masculines look they're coming forward towards you feminine okay that's what i'm seeing and here we are okay you're feeling like oh, where's the masculine you know you don't feel very good that you're masculine you're losing hope that you know maybe the masculine isn't coming you know but you know spirit is saying make a wish feminines okay especially today if you're watching this or whenever you're being guided to watch this video just because i mentioned the time uh in the video doesn't mean it has to be like right then and there i mean you could be watching this video uh, three months from now and it could resonate with you at that time because time is fluid right so that's what i'm saying you know um but this is the energy you know make a wish feminines okay I see that you want to, you know, move away from the past, you know, if you're dreamy, um, you know, you want to be more grounded, okay? I feel that, you know, when the masculine is ready, they'll come. That's why I feel like you're freeing yourself, you know, from having like this romanticized gondola, you know, boat ride with your masculine, right? <laughs> you know, riding a boat down uh, the canals of Venice, you know on a gondola you know with someone playing a uh, sweet uh, violin music <laughs> oh man i would love that honestly i would love a, a gondola ride <laughs> you know it doesn't have to be a, a, a gondola boat but you know i'll take any damn boat <laughs> Oh man, anyways, I just was thinking my masculine, uh, when he was stationed in Okinawa, he was learning uh, to play the violin.
you know, I really like that. You know, I, uh, you know, I, I wanted to learn to play the guitar during this quarantine, but I got sick and I, I just wanted to focus more on my health, you know, and, and really get better rather than, you know, trying to take up a hobby and not really, um, you know, put 100% into myself. But once I'm, I'm better, I would definitely, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll look around for a guitar, you know, um, because, you know, my whole thing is, is that in the summers, or maybe in the winter, like around like a bonfire, you know, outside, you know, I can break out the guitar and start strumming uh, campfire songs and stuff like that, right? Or I could serenade my masculine with my voice, okay, with some sweet music, you know? How sexy is that, man? He has no idea. His woman has game. <laughs> no, <mind. laughs> Moving on. Okay, see, my, my, my imagination is going there. You know, with this boat. <laughs> Why? Because feminines, you know, you want that stick. You want this passionate new beginning. You want change. You know, that's what I'm saying, you know, and I feel that, you know, because right now, you know, feminines, this is your uh, energy, you know, towards the masculine. You want a sense of completion. You want to complete a cycle. You possibly want to travel the world with your masculine, okay, or travel towards them, especially if you guys are separated by distance. That's the feel I'm getting you. You know, you really want to create something new. How are you feeling? You, you're feeling guarded. I feel like feminines, you know, you're talking to your friends, you know, you're, you're telling your story to, you know, your bestie and you're like, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm so hurt, you know, what should I do? And, you know, your friend is like, free yourself, you know, what? Yeah, free yourself. And you're like, I don't know. I tried, you know, I'm trying so hard to free myself, but you know how I am. I'm, I'm all in my head, right? It hurts. <laughs> But, you know, I feel like, feminines, if you free yourself, okay, like work on your inner child. Go out in nature and play, you know, blow some bubbles and stuff, you know, make a kite, go fly a kite. If uh, you like to go fishing, you can go fishing, but, you know, make sure you, you, you put the fish back, you know. But if you're not Buddhist, okay, that's fine. You can capture the fish, but, you know, catch the fish and throw it back in the water, you know, let it go, let it set it free, you know. But, you know, feminines, I feel that, you know, you're really blocked up, you're hurt, and, and you don't know what to do. You're asking your friends for help. It's like you know what to do, but you're not doing it. You're resisting it, you know, and I feel that you're, you're creating your own uh, you know, suffering, you know, and I feel like you, you and your masculine uh, have already been through this separation, you know, due to this unrequited love, okay, so what is it that you want, we have here four of swords, okay, I feel that, you know, feminines, you, um, you're wanting to get out of this uh, separation with your masculine. You're also feeling this. Both you and the masculines are feeling the same. Both you guys want to get together. Both you guys are really thinking about each other, okay? So what do you want to do? <laughs> we have the Queen of Cups. You're holding back your feelings. That's how the masculine's thinking about you, feminine. <laughs> They're thinking that you're this Queen of Cups in reverse, and here you are. You're the Queen of Cups. Do you see how the power of manifestation works? When you think of something, you manifest. So feminines, if you wish for your masculine, you will manifest, okay? But you have to believe in it, okay? You can't be like, oh, well, he'll never come back, you know, but I want him, but you know, he's never here. You know, is that gonna manifest your masculine? <laughs> You have to feel like you know your masculine is coming. You have to feel it. You have to feel him or her in your veins. Like, I feel my masculine, you know. I feel like he's right, right next to me, right behind me. I can feel him with me, you know, and really open up your heart chakra, okay? And, you know, 
and really be gentle to this energy that you're feeling with your masculine sit, sit in it okay that's how you're connecting with your masculine in the 5d and then as you're feeling that your masculine will also feel that i'm serious guys okay i've been feeling my masculine lately it's crazy you know like a lot lately i think since the passing of uh the the new moon in taurus which was last week i've been feeling him very strongly you know to the point where i'm i'm emotional about it you know but feminines i feel like you're holding back your feelings okay so what is your challenge we have here the the king of swords that's the masculine the masculine is showing up here as a king of swords in reverse there are so many synchronicities in this reading today which leads me to believe that this is happening okay like it's happening for a collective of you both of you guys are feeling this you know your challenge okay is to receive communication from your masculine masculine isn't ready they're on the verge they want to they're thinking about you but they can't like spit it out they can't bring themselves to communicate to you you know it's like they're communicating to you telepathically but when it comes to the physical act or physical doing they they just can't they're like oh, oh, oh you know oh. <laughs> they they can't think too clear they don't know what to say you know they, they're like uh i need more time to think right how much longer they want to get out of the separation but they need more time to think you know they can't really uh you know be clear okay Th this could be um you know like almost like uh very cold with their words they need to learn to be gentle they need to let go of being in control if this mask can soften up their heart okay and be gentle with you oh man it is on like donkey kong <laughs> and feminines what are you gonna do okay you're gonna get out of this anxiety you're not gonna stress about it anymore hence the reason why i feel like that's why you're gonna free yourself you know the mask may have told you that this has been an unrequited love situation but feminines if you make a wish and you truly desire your masculine to come back in the physical to to do whatever it is either work things out establish a friendship you know maybe reconnect you know maybe just have like a you know a heart-to-heart -heart conversation whatever the case is masculine needs to learn to be gentle because they were rigid you know i see that they're rigid right now they don't know how to soften up okay that's what I'm seeing, and feminines, you're, you know, you're pulling back your energy. That's what I'm seeing, and you're holding back. But, you know, <laughs> the Grand Reaper over here is telling you, feminines, like, you need to let go. Why are you holding on to the situation? You're causing yourself a lot of uh, harm, you know, a lot of, like, pain and suffering. You need to let go, or I I'm going to, uh, you know, do something about it, okay, you know? So, feminines, you know, try not to be so rigid also and holding on to the connection. You need to let go and go with the flow, okay? Especially if your masculine told you that they didn't feel the same about you. Or, you know, they put you in the friend zone, okay? Or they said that they, they didn't feel the same way as they, you did for them. That's bullshit, okay? Because I see here, this masculine is really thinking about you. They're, this is how they're thinking about you, feminines. They want to be up next to you and, you know, um, cuddle you, you know, crush your hair, you know, put their arms all over you, okay? Because why you balance them? They didn't, they didn't feel balanced any other way except for when you came into their physical existence. That's why this masculine can't get you out of their head. That's what I'm seeing, guys, okay? So let me know. So let me go ahead and pull some uh, additional cards here and see what else. What does the masculines want to say to the feminines? And what does the feminines want to say to the masculines? What is it that you guys want to say towards each other? What is it that you like to say? I honor how I want to feel. Wow. 
you know, <laughs> this is the masculine's energy. I really feel like they want, you know, they're honoring how, you know, they want to feel and they want to feel connected with you before, you know, they were really controlling. Now they want to let go of control issues. Now they want to honor that they know that they have to be gentle with you. This masculine is slowly coming to awareness of, of this connection that they have. Because you bring out so much out of this masculine that they, they couldn't with any other person. You feminines, okay? That's what I'm saying. I find a deeper meaning and personal growth and the discomfort. Exactly. I can't make this stuff up, guys, okay? This is the epitome of a, a twin flame connection. There is a deep connection, a deep meaning towards, you know, whenever you guys come together and when you guys separate. It's a time for healing and personal growth. And it's really uncomfortable, okay? And finally, I choose love no matter what. This masculine is learning to choose love, true love. That's what I'm saying. That's really beautiful, guys, okay? For feminines, attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. You know, I feel like feminines, you know, you guys are definitely feeling this kind of a way. That's why you're learning to free yourself, you know. Uh, you feel like you're under attack. You feel pain. You feel fear. You feel fear, okay? Judgments and any form of separation. And I feel like because of this, you know, you, you feel needy. You know, you feel like you don't know what to do, okay? I would say call on to the universe, you know, for support, especially, you know, guidance from your holy angels for protection, okay? Like, you know, really trust, learn to trust in the divine, okay? Also, you can talk to your friends, because I see that that's what you're doing. You're talking to your friends, right? You're hurt. That's how you're feeling towards a masculine. And more than anything, you want to travel towards your masculine, okay? You want to get out of this separation. But what I'm seeing here is that feminines, you just need to make a wish. You have to believe in the miracles, okay? And really work on your inner child, okay? Free yourself from this pain. Really work on loving you, okay? My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Exactly. If you're not happy right now, it's a reflection of your faith in the universe. Point blank period. It came up again, guys. Look at this. I can't make this stuff up. This unrequited love, okay, that you have with your masculine. If your masculine told you they didn't love you, okay? Spirit is saying magic for the feminines make a wish believe in miracles magic is surrounding you okay you have to believe and your happiness is a direct reflection of your level of faith do you have faith in the universe if you're feeling uh, sad and lonely and depressed you need to free yourself because you are the one that is keeping yourself trapped in your mind because uh, of that you know if if you're not receiving a result from, you know, uh, your masculine, okay, your masculine, okay, if they're not giving back or reciprocating that back towards you, you need to learn that everything is temporary, okay, and the cause of pain and suffering, okay, is through yourself, now, the causes and conditions, yes, you know, like let's say the masculine did not choose you, that caused pain and suffering. Why? Because, you know, you were attached to your masculine, okay? If you really loved your masculine, you would learn to let go. Let go. Because love is free and love is kind. That's why when my masculine chose to let go, he, he ghosted me. He didn't tell me. He didn't explain. I actually understood, you know. I would like to, uh, an explanation from his mouth, you know. But one day, you know, I, I know I will get it from him, you know. But for now, I, I learned to let go. It hurts, guys, you know. It really does. And um, 
he has really tested my my practice in Buddhism. It really has. Because of my masculine, I have gained so much spiritual wisdom and knowledge because of my masculine, because of the things that he's put me through, through my pain and suffering from him not choosing me. And I'm sitting here thinking that why is my masculine not choosing me? I feel like, you know, I'm a very beautiful, very kind, very warm, very loving woman. Why, why would he not choose me, you know? And I, I kind of know why. You know, I'm not going to air out my personal stuff on here, but I kind of know why, you know? And um, all he had to do was just talk to me. So that I can help, you know, help in the connection, learn to be more vulnerable, okay? Not really tell him what to do because uh, I have a lot of knowledge. I'm not saying that my knowledge is, you know, uh, the antidote to cure everything. But, you know, if he's open to listen, you know, so that he could apply it to his own circumstance, then it's helpful if not it's not helpful you know but i know my masculine is stubborn you know but feminines your happiness is a direct reflection of your faith in the universe so you have to trust okay that's the beauty okay of being um you know a divine soul you know it's very difficult to have blind faith and finally i let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Wow. This is such a beautiful uh, saying here. Feminines, you learn to let go, okay? You are freeing yourself. It's t time to take back control of your life by working on your inner child, your innocence. You are innocent in the situation. You are only bearing your, your soul, you know? That's what I'm seeing. You know, it's time to play, you know, and, and really be carefree, you know? You let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Why? Because you learn to let go. You are not attached to your masculine, and now you love them unconditionally, loving them without conditions no matter what situation that you're masculine in, you know, whether they chose to go with a karmic, whether they're married to another karmic, whether they decided to go far, far away from you, okay, and never, you know, you know, look back and, and contact you again, whatever the case is, you still love them. That's how you know you love them unconditionally, you know. You're not loving them because, you know, well, if you don't do this, then I don't love you, really. If things get really tough and hard, you know, that's the true test. And I really feel like, you know, this masculine is coming to realize, you know, how much their karmic partners truly love them. Does the karmic love the masculine? Does the masculine love the karmic? And I feel like, you know, they, they answered their own question. And they realize that this love connection between you and your masculine is far deeper than that. It's a soul connection. Okay, you can't really cut them off because you're in their energy. Very same, similar to, you know, how the feminines are experiencing the masculine's energy. Okay, it goes like really deep like this because you guys are the same, right? That's why this masculine is choosing love no matter what. That's what I'm seeing. Now they find a deeper meaning and a personal growth amid the discomfort. It is uncomfortable, but they're learning, they're growing, okay, from their situation. And that's what I'm seeing, guys. This is such a beautiful reading, okay? I really feel like, you know, this masculine is wanting to reconcile. If it doesn't happen today, they're definitely thinking about it, and they're thinking about you. That's what I'm seeing, it's so beautiful. This masculine really feels that you're very special. I feel like this masculine now values this connection, okay? That's what I'm saying. So forget about this unrequited love, okay? For yourself, love yourself, go out in nature, feel good, 
Shit, go out, go out in the water naked if you can. <laughs> I think um, I was talking to someone and they were in a river with their girlfriends and they, they took off all their clothes and they're having a go time and then here comes a, a guy like on a boat and I think they were fishing and it was unexpected. <laughs> And, and they're like, ah, oh, you know, splashing around, and here comes this guy, and they're like, oh, shit, they can't go back to the thing because they're naked, and they had to sit there in, in the stream and wait for this guy to pass by. <laughs> but if you can, you know, go scanny, okay? Free yourself. Feel liberated. <laughs> All right, so what is... Uh, the message that spirit want us to know dare you what is true for you can you be impeccable with your word sure you can as long as it's not used to manipulate others the truth can set you free and everyone free let go of the results let go of your fears and allow the truth to empower you and others. Wow, this is a perfect message for today. This will set into motion a kind of change that will be supportive of you and loving and all kinds of prosperous. Hmm. This is not a time to compromise and hide your truth from others, whatever it is you want to go for it, and be clear in your motives, especially with yourself. Now, this is for the masculines. The masculines, they're not very clear. They need to be clear with their motives and their intentions. You know, they're still a little bit foggy right there, right? But they definitely want to get out of this isolation. They want to get out of this separation. They've already healed, okay? I feel like this masculine is ready to work on it right but they're coming off cold and steely okay like where's the affection masculine learn to be gentle you know and they're coming off with this little token you know they're like uh -huh, maybe this is not enough i don't know is this enough uh i've been in uh, quarantine for a long time i don't think i got it yet but they definitely feel like they don't have enough to offer you that's why this masculine is watching you feminines okay that is what I'm seeing. You'll be happy you did. This is a time where you will tap into the power to co-create and manifest your best life. Doesn't that feel amazing? And the results? Miraculous. When you tell the truth and ask the same of others, you can learn a lot from life's bountiful lessons and achieve your dreams. Love you always. That's all the masculines have to do. When they tell the truth that they love you, so much can happen. You know, they just have to tell the truth about what's been going on, what's been bothering them, you know, everything. Like, don't hold back, you know? Even feminines, too. When you tell the truth, you set yourself free. That's how you free yourself, because you spoke your truth. If you've been hiding, you know, if you've been pining, if you've, there is something on your mind that you weren't able to speak of, go ahead and speak. Let it loose. Let it go. Tell your feminine, tell your masculine, you know, how you feel. Because once you guys are on the same uh, wavelength, there's going to be miraculous results, okay? There's going to be a magic. Make a wish, feminines, okay? Believe in the miracles. I feel that when the masculine speaks their truth and let go. And feminines, you know, when you uh, freed yourself from your masculine, when you spoke your truth and you told the masculine X, Y, and Z, you, you spoke your truth, and if the masculine did not respond, it's the masculine's turn to respond back to you so they can also tell their truth towards you. That's how you get closure, okay? That's how you, you complete this cycle. That's how you complete this cycle, okay? That's what you're thinking. That's what you want. 
That's what I'm feeling. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know what you think. And thank you again for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. And again, guys, okay, tomorrow, uh, you know, if you have have time I will go live and I don't know when okay so make sure you subscribe so that you can get the notification you know through your email or if you're on YouTube uh, when I will go live okay and then um, you can join in and and perhaps you know you'll be one of the lucky ones that I choose you know uh, to to get a free reading you know real time and if you send a, a super chat Okay, what I will do is I'll take the time to go back through uh, those uh, live recorded readings, okay? And anyone who uh, sends like a donation or, you know, um, sends a, a super chat, I will take the time, possibly I feel like on my Friday's reading or maybe sometime on the weekend, I'll do a separate uh, reading and I'll upload uh, everyone's reading if if you sent a donation so if I don't uh, read for you while you send uh, the super chat real time just know that I'll get back to you okay I really appreciate that um, you took the, t uh, the time to you know send uh, you know a donation it's really helpful for the channel you know and and I do appreciate that so don't think that you know you just donated and really you know you didn't get much out of it because I know that you guys were possibly really eager and wanted some answers and you know I just couldn't get to it in, in that time and so when I do have time uh, I'll get back to you okay so you'll have uh, the chance to do it again tomorrow okay so I hope to see you uh, in the live chat and I'll talk to you later bye bye